This is Looking Down de Viz, and this is a painting inspired by the beautiful view uh, from Pacific Heights looking down at the Bay and the Palace of Fine Arts um, on the afternoon of the last of the America's Cup races. Peg and I had just been to attempt to see it, didn't quite make it, but on the way back up, we, I looked back and said, oh wow, that's a painting. And I had recently seen the Diebenkorn exhibit at the De Young, and I was sort of inspired by his colors and thick brush strokes. Uh, this was created using a Macintosh computer, a Corel Painter software, and a Wacom tablet. Uh, this is about eight foot by four foot. And in fact, this very print was displayed at the opening of the David Hockney A Bigger Exhibition at the De Young when I performed live digital painting on the iPad and I had this on display there in the Wilsey Court in the main atrium of the museum. This is Pam Brandon and the Luxomatics at Club Deluxe. Club Deluxe is one of my favorite bars in San Francisco. It's at Haight and Ashbury. And every Sunday, Pam and her band, the Luxomatics, plays a real great mixture of sort of blues and 50s rock and roll, a little bit of swing and country. Um, well worth going to from 6 to 9 p.m. every Sunday. And so I was there one evening and I did a little sketch uh, in my sketch pad using Caran Dash Neocolor 2 water soluble uh, crayons. They're, by the way, great to use. I really, really enjoy them. And I used a little bit of water, even a little bit of wine uh, to blend them in, mix them around. And so you can see there, it's sort of got a watercolor -y feel. Um, I then thought, well, let's do something with this. So I photographed it, uh, opened it up in my Macintosh using Corel Painter and a Wacom tablet, and then just worked into it a little bit more, um, sort of just developed the composition really. So I added textures from the club. I added my 1972 Buick Centurion here. You can see the wheel and some of the body. Um, and then ended up printing it out on um, a canvas using a pigment ink printer. Um, one other thing I added, by the way, while I think about it, is the love heart in the top left is actually uh, in the club. Uh, so it wasn't in the drawing, but it's a dedication uh, to the uh, owner, original owner of the club who passed away. Um, anyway, once it was printed out on canvas, I then worked into it with some oil stick and some acrylic paint. So it's a real mixed media work, really reflecting a little bit uh, how much the band itself mixes things up. This is Thin White Duke. It's a painting inspired by David Bowie, one of his personalities. And actually this artwork was exhibited in the Smash Gallery uh, tribute to David Bowie earlier this year. It's actually a collaborative piece. So the background is oil on canvas by Peggy July. And it's actually a piece where Peggy, um, she wasn't so keen on it. And I said, oh, can I use it as a background? And she said, okay. So the black line work, which is mostly acrylic ink and some oil stick um, is by myself. And so truly a collaborative work, as well as a tribute to a great uh, musician and creator himself. This is a mixed media drawing created from life as Diana Batazadigan played viola and James Jaffe played cello. It was actually happening here in uh, Pegasus studio during a Parallel Play SF event in which we have uh, classical musicians play and then Peggy and I create live artwork that relates to them and the music. Uh, in this case, uh, the theme was Go Figure a Divertimento and there was a variety of different music that was being played during the evening and we related our types of marks to that music. In this case, it was a Mozart piece that was being played. You can actually see a video on my website, jeremysutton.com, uh, showing uh, this piece being created and the music being played. It was all done as the musicians played. And uh, so please go take a look. And if you just go to the jeremysutton.com and then uh, events and shows and look for the pl parallel play, go figure, you'll find it. This is on very, very heavyweight Arches watercolor paper, 650 pounds. So it's a really, really nice 
thick watercolour paper, which is an absolute pleasure to draw on. I, I love working on great surfaces. I'd like to talk a little bit about these sketches. They're sketches from Italy, a recent trip that Peg and I made, and these were created, uh, actually all of these, in uh, Frenza in Florence. Beautiful, beautiful city. Um, and they were all examples taken from my square uh, sketchbook. And this is an exa another example of the Duomo, um, drawn in a variety of meter, pencil, uh, with crayon, caran d'ache, uh, neocolor twos. And I also used uh, some Copic alcohol markers for some of the work here. These are eight inch by eight inch, again on a really nice um, watercolor paper. This is uh, after a Titian here, and these are drawn on, uh, let's see, 140 pound uh, watercolor paper. Really, really nice. Again, uh, as with the parallel play drawing, to be working on wonderful media. And I encourage everybody to take a sketchbook wherever they go and just enjoy the uh, beauty and fun of sketching, whatever you see in front of you. This is a inkjet print of an incredible uh, art, collaborative art piece. This was actually created at the De Young Museum and it was really a one of a kind in the whole world. Um, it was a massive 40 foot wide, four foot high virtual mural that was created in performance at the, one of the Friday nights at the De Young on the last weekend of the Ed Ruscha, uh, the Great American West show. And that was the theme. And this was a very, very rare event because it was a window of opportunity when the huge Gerhard Richter had been taken off the main wall of the uh, Wilsey Court, the, the main atrium in the De Young Museum. And just for a few weeks, the wall was just blank white. And we had the opportunity to do this live mural on the wall, but we weren't allowed to touch the wall. Hmm, how should we do that? Ah, in comes technology. We used five touch jet pond projectors, and touch jet ponds are amazing, uh, relatively new invention. They're Android Wi-Fi enabled projectors, tiny little things, like mini computers, and they project onto any surface and turn it into a smart interactive surface. So we were using this huge wall and we were holding infrared pucks like little styluses. And so to pick color and to uh, pick brushes, we would click and communicate with the five projectors as we went along uh, the mural. And we were using a program called Artrage, which actually I also like to use on the iPad, but this was in Android. And we literally were painting on the wall with light. So this is painting with light, literally. Um, and the uh, mural, which you can actually see in these photos, um, was visible while the lights were low. And then when the lights went on and we unplugged all the projectors, the mural disappeared. So it was really a temporal installation. However, the data from the mural, each of the five sections, uh, was saved to the cloud, so Wi-Fi enabled projectors, we put them in the Dropbox uh, or Google Drive in the cloud, and um, then I was able to stitch them together as a digital file and produce this uh, wonderful little print here. Uh, and in this uh, portrayal of the Great American Rest West, themed on Route 66, I started on the left, i.e. in the west, uh, Peggy started on the right, i.e. in the east, well actually in the middle of the country, and we call this from Monument Valley to Silicon Valley, since that is the journey along Route 66 that we took mix in fine art and new technology. This is a study for my portrait of Shahasp, and this was created in a two hour sitting, and it's uh, a mixture of media, it's uh, acrylic inks, and also some uh, oil stick on canvas. And I was still working out my ideas. I actually thought originally that the portrait would end up being this size. And as I started working with my various studies, some on paper, some on canvas, I realized, oh no, you know, I'm, I'm hitting the edge and I feel a bit cramped, so I need a bigger canvas. And as you'll uh, see, 
that there is that um, the final uh, painting process that I'm working on is on a 48 by 48 canvas, um, so much bigger than this. Um, but I still like this for uh, just as a study, and that's why I'm sharing it here. You can actually see the progress of the whole project on my website. Again, uh, if you go to jeremysutton.com and just look in the art gallery and then look for Shahasp and you'll just see as I have each sitting uh, every Monday, I post a photo or two and you can actually follow the progress.